and then the first bar. Yes, I'm listening. These are notes. So this is how Renee sets up every year. She'll print it on paper to see what it's gonna look like and if she's gonna need to change anything. And then after she sees it, then somehow she comes up with slightly a different idea to modify it the littlest bit and then she measures it all out and then cuts it and not quite sure how she does it. it's kind of crazy but that's what she does and it might not be the best or easiest way but that's her way and she's like self-taught like just doing it on my car and random other cars a couple of them but mostly just my cars I think we end up like whoa Joe's eating up. a really petite sandwich Hmm. I, offered, I, offered your wife. I have top ramen, so it's fine. But this happened today. This took freaking forever because I had to line them up on like multiple, multiple accesses or planes and make sure they seem parallel right here. And then also parallel this way, this way, this way. Hey, but check it out. Turbo Smart is in. And so we dropped stuff off at the powder coater. Got it back same day because he knew it was a rush job. So we made the new bracket for the new fuel pressure regulator and it's in and we're happy with it. So all Turbo Smart products are in. The car and ready to go. And pretty much last thing I gotta do is do the vacuum lines for the turbo, put the intake manifold in, and little touches like that. I'm gonna keep working on it tonight. Joe's gonna work on the back of the car to do the rear window. Um, Renee's gonna be wrapping the car, it's getting crazier as we go. But, it's the way it goes. All right, I'm gonna go eat. All right, so Renee is underway, wrapping. I know you guys wanted to see this. So we had put the fenders on, but mainly just because we are excited, I guess, to put it on. So now I'm gonna take off all the hardware minus this one I'll leave, so the fender will stay on there. And then Renee can wrap the whole thing, and then at the very end I'll take that one off so that she can finish the wrapping. But, uh, yeah, she's gonna start this long process of wrapping everything. It'll be like four days or some crap before it's all done. Long nights. All right. Hey, I like blue. <laughs> so much fun. Renee's building now. We got all kinds of goodies from Montreux. A wet edge squeegee and this wrap glove. Ooh, Ooh, made for Chrome. Montreux has everything you need when you're gonna wrap your car. Even if you want to do Chrome Blue. Whoa, that's bright. <laughs> um, so Renee is doing the base coat of Chrome Blue on the top, and then she did one of the fenders, but. Oh, I gotta go move cars with Joe. Back to work. Fine. Yeah, Fine. Yeah, Back yeah. to work. Bye. Gotta go. See you guys in a second. So, in between stages, it's got a lot of blue happening. But, we still have two more layers to do. So it's hard to say how it'll actually look right now. Well, we know. You guys have seen the rendering. It's good progress for just a few hours today. So we heard horrible news, even though there's good news. But they are not going to allow GT wings this year in FD. So now I have to figure out last minute what to do without having a spoiler. 
and I'm about to cry because I really like my party in the back spoiler so got to come up with something quick that looks good but also hopefully I can put the party in the back sticker on we'll see we're thinking about it you are too but probably be too late by the time you guys tell me okay well that's where we're at for tonight it's late the most blue chrome you've had Ooh, blue chrome is cool. Look at it. Blue on blue on blue on blue. You can never have enough blue. So shiny. Okay, part of the reason why you guys like the Supra, or I'm guessing, but I think I know the answer, this is why I like it too, is the detail, attention to detail everywhere, which without detail, it wouldn't be so like wow factor or exciting to look at because there's something every little area you look, which is my favorite part about building cars. So this, is not gonna cut it. Obviously not. We need to wrap this in uh, the PTB turbo blanket, uh, well, like the lava exhaust wrap, and then same with this pipe here. But then on top of that, we like to ceramic coat this so that it looks good and like the detail is there. Here, let me show you. No running. Okay. So this is ceramic coated. So it's nice and like kind of a flat gray black. Looks amazing, but I was thinking I wouldn't have enough time, but MB just said they will do a one day turnaround for us again because they like us and because MB is really crazy good. And yeah, you guys need to go to MB powder coating, ceramic coating, everything. They do it all there. And Dave, the owner, has been helping me in the race program for now like four years. So. I love you guys at MB. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off, take my um, whole exhaust off, and they're gonna do it real quick. So I gotta go, and then we're gonna rush over to MB. Sometimes we jump in the Ford Power Stroke with Richard yep. and head over to MB. He just happened to be here with this big truck, so we're going. And he brought a Red Bull. It's like empty, dude. Uh, Drink it on the way here. No Red Bull. All right. We're going to MB. So this is MB powder coating. And we're gonna head in the back, go in the showroom, say what's up to the guys, and drop off the parts. So MB has like pretty big production set up here for your average powder coater. And then they have like every color you can imagine. And then Dave, the owner, kinda knows this stuff like a little bit too well so he always comes up with cool new ideas and helps me make the race car look that much cooler all right let's carry this stuff in there's Bree Bree whoa check out that cat is it dead no <laughs> Alright, so this is Brie. Hi. <laughs> when I was saying they had a lot of colors, that's what I was talking about. All these samples, plus way, way, way more. But some of it's just inside Dave's head or Pat's head, and they'll be like, oh, I got this idea, and then they'll come out with another color and show you, or like some like color that you do first, and then you spray again mm -hmm. later and make it like. Ice white pearl over like blue chrome, stuff like that. That's why I always come here because they're the best. Ooh, Supra. Wow, that's cool. All right.